Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a Bins Haul. Everybody's favorite, Goodwill Bins Haul. If you don't know what the Goodwill Bins is, it's an outlet center where you pay by the pound and you go through these blue bins of It's stuff. just madness. Yeah. It's pretty fun. You can look up on the just Google Goodwill outlet to see if there's one near you. We do have one near us in Dallas. If you're new here, hi. Hey, what's going on? We are full-time resellers. We do live in Dallas, Texas, and we mainly sell on eBay, but also Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace sometimes. So, yeah. Here we go. We're going to take you through everything that we picked up. Um, oh, and we have a bonus. We have a bonus. What? Bonus thrift bon haul. Yeah, regular thrift store haul at the end. So stick around. We got some good stuff. We I can't remember. We I just actually, did this yesterday and I can't remember. What'd you do? I actually have pen and something to write on so we can tally the number of items we got at the bins. Tally it. So that we can accurately get, you know, our cost of goods. I think we spent around $20. I'm going to click the pen once. Okay. okay. I think we spent around $20 and we got. 26 pounds of merchandise, is that yeah, correct? Something like that, yeah. Because um, at the end I added a purse for $3. I don't know why, Mojo just hit the camera. I don't know why our purses are $3, but. Yeah, they're $2.99 a piece, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, there was only one that was uh, accounted for individually. Everything else, like I said, we got by the pound. So this is, you, you got this, right? Yeah, I did. I meant to like look it up or put it back. It's a little less sports sack, yep. is that right? Yep. yep. A little shoulder bag. Oh, oh, is there a little bonus in there? Yeah, a little, you know, shredded paper and some glitter. Fun. Okay, yeah. I don't know if this is worth anything. So this is the thing about our bins hauls, y'all. We don't know. We don't comp at the bins because we're paying so little money. Mm -hmm. So just just take this for what it is. It's what we picked up. And then you can watch our what solds. We do what solds every other day, but pretty much. Yep. So you can see if this stuff is selling. Yep. All right. I found this. This is a... I think what I told you, I think is what it is. Yeah, Amy thing. I don't know for sure. I have no idea. Amy thinks this is for carrying firewood. Um, it's, it's from L.L. Bean. It's from L.L. Bean. We love selling this brand. There it goes. Um, it's got nice leather handles. It's thick canvas. Um, yeah. It could just be for sitting on like a mat. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's L.L. Bean. We'll look it up. Yep. Again, we haven't looked this stuff up yet. I feel F. bad. That's okay. That's okay. Y'all y'all know. I think I got this one. Did you? you? I, no, I got this one. You got this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, I think it's Ikea. That's why I got it. It is yeah. Ikea. Yep. So when people lose their little Ikea Urken plush. Lope. What? Urken Lope. Okay. And Ikea doesn't make it anymore. Parents got to go find it. There you go. And if you're at, I, this is my thinking. If okay. you're at Ikea all day with your kid, they're going to want something. Right, so Absolutely. you're like, all right, you can have the horse. Right, but because you're there it. for you're there for the entirety. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you're there for the long haul. Yeah, when you're at IKEA, it's a day. Wait, this is cool. I like this a lot. Tell them the story. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I, I see this. This is uh, Pendleton. It's branded from Pendleton, so that caught my eye. This was laying in the bin, uh, open, and the zipper was open and it was empty. And then I found this in the next bin over. So this is a backgammon, travel backgammon set. And, and I brought this to Amy and I was all disappointed. I was like, look, I, you know, it's got the pieces and the dice and the instructions, but there's nothing else in here. I think the board's missing. I don't know where the board is. And she's like, dude, <laughs> that's the board. <laughs> and I'm looking at it like, oh, okay. So I haven't, it's complete. I, I think, think so. it's complete. And it's it's a collaboration from, what is this, Chronicle Books and Pendleton. Cool. So. No idea what it's worth, but it's really cool. I, you, you I actually it. looked it up. They're worth about 30 to 40 bucks. That's awesome. Yeah. Really cool piece. And it was just sitting in a bin, you know? <laughs> and our hard goods, I should have told you, are 40, once you get over a certain th threshold, yeah. it's 49 cents a pound. Yeah, once you're over 25 pounds, I believe. Yeah, so it's 49 cents a pound. Okay. Not bad, you Not know, because most of what we buy is hard goods. Yeah. We did buy some clothes this time, so it's a little more expensive. Yeah. Okay, I did not put this in the heater, don't worry. We keep buying but, these. <laughs> yeah, it's a digital um, blood pressure 
cuff. I bought two of them the last time we were at the bins. We haven't listed them yet, though. Yeah, but this one still has batteries in it and it still works. Oh, they're batteries. Works. Yeah. Oh, wait, we should do it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Right. Awkward. So, I mean, those are... Yeah, we got another electronic one last time and a, a manual one. Yeah, we so. sell them all the time. They're uh, good. You know what? I'm for, I'm totally forgetting the count. Don't click the pen, I'm bruh, sorry. bruh. Okay, we've got to get caught up. How many? One, we got? two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. All right. So what we do is we divide our total cost of goods by the number of items. Number. Okay. You this got this. I, I did. did not get this, this is a gunned Easter pals. It was a last second grab. I was like, eh. It's. I know we're missing it. It's too late for Easter this year. But here you go. It's a little hat. <laughs> You got this. This is. Oh yeah, I got that. Disney fairies. Yeah, Tinkerbell. Oh. oh hey. <laughs> yeah, come on. It, uh, maybe because she's. Oh. <laughs> oh. You, I'm deceased. I can't. <laughs> Something wrong with her neck. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Should... Good look. Always check the neck. Oh man. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a teenager model. Uh. Exactly right. That's funny. Okay. All right. Oh god, that that's too much. Too that, much. That was, I'm crying. I'm crying already. Uh, we've lost her. <laughs> okay. Um, I grabbed this. I, it's from Dyson, branded from Dyson, and I believe it is the bag or the travel case for. The air wrap, um, or air the wrap. or the hair dryer. I'm not sure. Yeah, the or air the hair wrap dryer. has this big like. Case. I don't know. We'll look it up. Well, it's a travel bag or carrying case yeah. for some Dyson something. Yeah, I think so. that's great. It should be fine. Yeah. Something does smell kind of mothbally. Uh, it's this jacket coming up. I'm telling no, you. No, I think it's this. Nobby, it's the jacket. Well, this was laying on it, and I smell this. Well, everything in the heater is together. Hmm. <laughs> You got her. Is that Tiana? I wanted to ask you. I have no idea. I think it is. Is that what her name is from um, the Frog Prince? It, again, I, I don't know. Okay, if this <laughs> is sorry. from the Frog Prince or whatever, I think she's good. And okay. I'm going to clean her up a little bit. She was so cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's in her hair. That's real weird. Something. Okay, anyway. Yep. We're going to see. All right, let's get this smelly jacket. Oh, here. you guys might not know what we're talking about when we say the heater. We have this thing called the Ranger, and it heats. It's like this big cooler almost. That's what it kind of looks like, a like soft-sided cooler. Yeah. And we put, oh. I, I it did not you. smell like that at the bins. When you heat stuff up and it has mothballs, it like smell. it blooms. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. Anyway, and we heat our stuff up to 160 degrees for four hours yep. to kill any bacteria, germs, and mainly bugs. Have we found any bugs? No. Nope. But this, it's linked below. This is from Wilson's Leather Maxima. This is that, what do you call this? This is like the suede where mm -hmm, the, with the mm -hmm. Sherpa coming through? Mm -hmm. This is super boho and in right now. I don't know yeah. what you call it. Uh, but I got, I mean, it does smell like mothballs, but we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll fix that up. You can, you can put it in the freezer. Yeah. It will calm down. It's because it's hot. Yeah. The same thing happens when we steam items that are mothbally. <coughs> Just don't put it around us, man. Put it over here. Put it over there. Anyway, put the, put a little tally. Put a little tally. I, I think that'll sell. That's a good one. It just smells. Yeah. Oof. Okay, next. Tally. Get yourself together. I'm going to mark, mark a tally and then grab the piece. <laughs> <laughs> just some... All right, all right, all right. Okay. you got a system. I got a system. I got this because it was at the bins, Charter Club two club two ply cashmere. And you are brave getting cashmere at the bins. I, I, you know what? I looked it over. Brave. And I actually looked this up, and surprisingly, the comps are decent. I looked it over pretty quick, so. Oh, now he goes back. You saw that back tread, right? I saw you heard the back it. Tread. You heard it. Yeah. Um, cashmere is. I got a couple of cashmere pieces actually. Infamous <laughs> for moth holes. Rolling and the even dice. Even when you think there are no moth holes, there will be moth holes. Yeah, they'll appear when you're like listing it. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so okay, this is a mock neck. This is like, this is a pretty classic piece. Charter Club isn't something we would normally pick up. Nope. But if it is cashmere, it should do pretty well. We typically don't pick up cashmere at the thrift because people don't normally donate it unless there's something wrong with it right i.e it's got holes Holes, right 
But hey, we were at the bins. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> these are level 99 shorts. I picked these up and okay. I used to work at Stitch Fix and we sold this brand and people are very uh -huh. loyal to it. I think, sorry, I don't, I'm not trying that. It's not a Stitch Fix exclusive that I know of, but I know that people would ask. And that's one of the things from working at Stitch Fix, I know what people would ask for. Mm -hmm. And they loved level 99, so I always pick it up at the bins when I see it. Okay. It doesn't sell for that much. It's not like a high-end brand or anything. It's just sought after, you know what I mean? I do. My hair is crazy right now. All right, you got this also, right? Yeah, this is so on trend. 90s are on trend. And this is from Urban Outfitters, oh. which is also having a moment. Okay. When we first started reselling, like Urban Outfitters. Oh, come on. Here, get your face out of it. Duck, duck and cover. Nope, still not doing it. All right, that's okay. They know. Yeah. Okay, and anyway, Urban Outfitters didn't used to sell and like four years ago, but now it's having a moment. This is a newer Urban Outfitters tag. And uh, this style is very on trend. This whole like clueless look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think Ty probably wore this in <laughs> Clueless. All right, cool. Did cool. you tally it? I did. Okay. I got it. Got it. All right. Next, <laughs> I got Italian. Oh. <laughs> I just got confused. Oh, Lord. It was the pen. Oh, gosh. All right. Wrecked. This is a very chunky knit. Oh, it is. Uh, sweater. It's a wool and cashmere blend, I believe, if memory serves me right. Yep, 70 wool, 30 cashmere. Cool. Um, it's from a brand called TSE. Cool. There you go. Not a brand that I was... I would call... I don't know this brand, but I mean, the only reason I recognized it is we just sold a skirt from this brand. Did we? Yeah, oh, that full cashmere that was skirt. TSE. I yeah. would call this a fisherman knit. Look that up. It's like when you have a, a bunch of different... Okay. We're back back it's fine okay what i was saying before yes. i was interrupted rude is that when it's really chunky like this and then it has like the the mixed patterns can you point that out can you see it it's very hard to see okay perfect you got it there you go so see it's like got some different knit patterns in it this is like kind of an exaggerated version but i would call this a fisherman sweater yeah uh, it's a mix between a couple of different knit styles and it's real chunky like that. It's, this isn't exactly a fisherman, but that's what I would call it because it will sell. Yep. Those are really popular right now. Okay. Stop clicking the pen. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got this because I just couldn't leave it. What is it? It's a really, it's like a cool, like, accented sport coat. It's got this button on the pocket it's got this like what would you call that like a heathered yeah kind of yeah anyway it's it's from this german brand called hout no that's why you couldn't leave that's it. why i couldn't leave it um i again, if you're new sorry. you don't know Jan's, dan's german like 100 percent. it was just weird to me like how did it get to the bin in dallas like they don't sell this here it's, yeah yeah so I, no so i just J -A. yeah 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 <laughs> it's not it's not sold here no no um so, couldn't Broken. leave. It. All right, next up is. Did what? you get this? Oh no, I got no, this. No, you got this. This is what is this? Oh man. Look at how cute! I couldn't leave it there. <laughs> I couldn't leave it. Look at this thing. Ooh. So cute. This is from Emily Rose. Emily Rose. I did not look it up, but I have bought this brand before. It's cute. It's trying to. There it goes. Good. Did I help? A little bit. No. We gotta figure this out. I gotta move the camera closer or something. Yeah. Okay. Amateur hour over here. Yay! Welcome. <laughs> okay. So cute. This is from Obey number 89. Oh, yeah. So, I might keep this. Look at this, This is super cool. Aww. I love it. So this skater... Like tiny t-shirt. Like yeah, it's cropped. Shirt. Tiny t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> tiny t-shirt. Um, this skater, Obey, is a skating brand. I also used to work at PacSun. These skater brands are really in right now because 90s is in and Obey was huge in the 90s, if you don't remember. If you weren't alive, I was and I can tell you about it. So uh, I got a couple of skating shirts. There it is. That's the reason. You found a hole? I found, well, it's been fixed very poorly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't buy cashmere at the bins. Oh, well. Life lesson right there. See, look at that. It's, it's bad. Anyway. Yeah, we can still, still sell it. Yeah. All right, this is, it's, this it's it might be shrunk. shrunk. Babe, why you buy this? I don't know. 
Get it out of here. All right, it's Laura Pialina. That's yeah. why he bought it. He got blinded by the brand. Blinded. Y'all, look for this brand. It's very, very good. They make their own fabric, so sometimes it's co-branded, but Laura Piana is what you're looking for. Yeah. If you find a sweater like this and it's like really thick and not soft anymore, it's been shrunk. It's called felted. Sorry. This thing, I mean, it would fit me, but it's not comfortable to wear. No, it's not comfortable to wear because it has no give to it anymore. Somebody put this in the dryer and there was a hole in it that's been poorly repaired. Bad buy. Bad buy. It's fine. Everything was cheapo, you know? We'll just return it to the, um, we'll just redonate it, is what I'm saying. Our bins does not take returns. That is, don't, don't take that the wrong way. America. Mojo's here. We got one more. Roll, rolling the dice. This is investments, <laughs> fine cashmere. Oh, oh. Is it now? It sure is. I don't think the brand on this is great. I don't either. But Dan was in I a was cashmere just... mood, apparently. He doesn't watch our videos. <laughs> I'm always like, don't buy cashmere. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Mm, we'll see? I think it's okay. We'll see how that does. It's a cardigan. It's blue. All right. What is this? This is another Stitch Fix uh, thing that I know about. It's called Art Margaret M. Petites. Uh -huh. We've sold this brand before. We sell it a ton. It's so bright. No, we right, I'm going to try to. Terrible. Oh. Get in here. I'm gonna do this. Silver text, so there, there it goes. Oh, yeah. There you go. You gotta do a little tilty woo. Oh, what Mojo, is... I'm gonna sit on you. Okay. No, he's on the. <laughs> There's Mo. Uh, people love this brand. This is a classic pencil skirt. It's very stretchy. Uh, I think it'll do fine. It'll probably sell for about $15, and that's just great. All right. There you go. Oh, I bought two of these. So okay. normally I don't buy Madewell t-shirts because you can get them at Nordstrom Rack for like 17 bucks. Mm -hmm. But they're, this was in great shape and there was another one of the same size oh, and cool. they weigh nothing. So I'm going to lot them together and save them from the landfill. Great. Probably get 15 bucks. It's fine. Great. Look at this animal print beauty. Oh yeah. This is cachet. Cachet. This is like ultimate mm -hmm. 90s, right? Mm. There it goes. And the reason I got this is because it's like a shirt, but it has a zipper. This thing is rocking and rolling. It's like Josie and the Pussycats right here. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a jacket, but it's like a shirt and it's sheer. Okay. I got. I have no explanations for any of it. But it's got this chain detail on it, and it was all working order. So we're going to sell this baby. There you go. There you go. People love cachet. I, right. I don't know. You got, the, you got these. I these did. are Hannah Anderson. Well, Hannah Anderson jeans. Kid pants. Sure did. There you go. Um, I'm starting to know this brand. We've picked it up a couple of times now. Come on, <laughs> get in there. <laughs> Y'all, just leave us alone. You're Comment good. below. Let us know how much you hate this. No, <laughs> like, get stop. it together. No, engagement's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's the other the other one. Here's the other Madewell shirt. So I'm gonna lot it together with the first one. Same size. Okay. Both of them are, I think, extra large. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got this. Here you go. Oh, this is sweet. <laughs> yup. Y'all, cruel intentions. Man. I'm telling you, the 90s are back with a vengeance, and this is probably a remake, but still, this is going to be good. 2018. Yeah. Whatever. Right. <laughs> it will sell. In the game of seduction, there is only one rule. Never <laughs> fall in love. Dawn, 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 dawn. I love it. That's what it says. All right, you got this sweet Grateful Dead t-shirt. I sure did. We sell anything we get Grateful Dead, we sell it. So it doesn't matter the brand. It's like a faded, dusty pink. Very cool. And they sell this stuff at Target all the time now, but if you're at the bins, this is Tailgate, the brand. This this is going to flip. Watch. You watch our What's Old. It will flip. Oh, I got this one, too. Those deadheads. Oh, that's a great... I'm, that's a selling. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> yeah, I don't... It's my favorite picture of Kurt Cobain, y'all. This is my favorite picture of him. Come on now. You know, I think this is what probably inspired um, Tyler Durden. You know the character from Fight Club? Yeah. He's got that same vibe. Totally. I love it. That's a really cool shirt. <laughs> nice. Sun your buns. I love it. It's, it's good. From, it's good advice right there. From Billabong. Billabong. This is a size. What is this? Small. Small. I got. I know. It's just these. I got a bunch of these cropped skater shirts that were like in like new condition. So yeah. Hopefully they they'll flip. Maybe on posh. 
nice. I buy this no matter what. Lounge pants, Aristocats. People that love Aristocats love it. These are kids pants, 14, 16. Okay. Um, but I still think anytime we find this Aristocat stuff, it flips very quickly for us. Was it kids or is it adults? Yeah, kids, 14, 16. Okay. But anyway, these would be great. Because they don't, you know, Aristocats isn't, they don't make the stuff right now. So if you're a fan, you gotta get it on the resale market. Okay. And everybody loves cats. Right. All right, this is Delia's. Y'all, if you don't know. I don't know. So oh, Delia's was it's a cat. Okay, girl, we gotta get in here. Get in there. There it goes. Delia's was a catalog from when I was in high school and middle school and we used to love it and I'm like Who wears Delia's and my friend who sells on D Depop was like y'all those girls will pay mad money for Delia's <laughs> I never picked it up before but I picked it up this time. I'm gonna give it a try This is just a little open front short sleeve Y2K cardigan. Okay. All right. I mean come on the length of this alone <laughs> It's like a Paris Hilton situation that stuff is popular. Okay, you got a miracle suit? This is a miracle suit body shaper. So it's not right. a bathing suit. I've never actually seen their shapewear, but I'm gonna try it out, because we was at the bins. All right, and here's here's the bag that you got on its own. Yep, this thing. It's I paid two ninety nine, and I was happy to do so. This is a hobo bag, mm -hmm. and it is in mint condition. It's very nice. This leather is so great, and every it's clean inside, everything about it. I sell hobo a lot. Mm -hmm. Every time I buy, I get it, it sells, and it's just clean inside, which normally the inside's like got a pen, league, or makeup, or something, you know? Yeah. This is a gorgeous bag. It smells delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> All right. And last thing from the bins is this super awesome, super heavy coach messenger bag. I'm missing the shoulder strap. Stop. I passed over it. Dan's yeah. determined to find a shoulder strap for it, so. Okay. I mean, it's vintage. I think if you could find a shoulder shop, there's value. Yeah, there's a couple of head marks in there, but it's not. Nah. It's not thrashed by any means. Maybe look on eBay. Maybe someone's, you know. Yeah. Selling a thrash one because the the bag's in good shape, pretty yeah. much. It's got some, you know, patina. We exactly would call right. it. Exactly right. Matches our couches ex like perfectly. <laughs> look at that. Nice. Uh, I wouldn't. I did pass this over. I did not buy it. So I'm hopeful that Dan will prove me wrong and find a strap for it and or sell it without the strap. We'll see what happens with this. Yes. All right, and then you got a couple of belts. These are the last, these are the last two yeah, things. I got these. Yeah. Okay, this one's fossil. I get leather belts at the bins. This is just a fossil belt. And then- Do you um, know the other brand? I don't think this one I think it's is. Banana. Is it? Yeah, it's right okay. here. Oh, okay. Banana okay. Republic Genuine Leather. So I just get regular belts that have a little bit of extra detailing to them and they're at the bin, so they're no money. And I make sure that uh, none of the holes are blown out at all. Right. And belts can, you know, you can get 20, 30, sometimes 40, 50 bucks for them. So <coughs> as long as they're leather, That's I would recommend picking yeah. them up. I might lock these two together. They look to be the same size. Okay. That would look nice in a listing, you know? Yeah. All right, we're gonna move on to the Th regular thrift stuff. Yeah, I found some insane stuff this yeah, day. Yeah, this is really cool. I paid up for this. Yeah, paid up eight ninety nine. That's as much as we'll ever pay. Uh, it's Eileen Fisher, but it's a really cool striped, um, boxy situation. And it's linen. It's a boxy knit. Um, I mean a boxy weave, and it's it's linen, and it's got these. It's the color palette. It's I looked at the style, and it's modern. Uh, Recent. Recent. There you go. Compared to the Eileen Fisher we've been selling, if you're, if you're new here, we sell Eileen Fisher almost every day. And this one was just a more recent piece, and I think it's going to do really well, maybe yep. 50 bucks. Yep. So well, I'm happy to pay $9. We're going to save this one for later. We, we got a very, very good piece in here that we stum you stumbled upon. Great. He said stumbled. I went to the new rag with you're the like, B. <laughs> B-line. B-line. Okay. You got this. This I is... Did. What, Florit? This is Florit. So this is a very popular brand sold at Anthropology. Let me see if I can get it in there. We do pretty well with this brand still, even though the Anthro, you know, hasn't been doing well. And it's a floral print. It's got this really cool uh, writing at the top. It's a pencil skirt. So this is great for someone who works in an office but wants a little extra flair. Mm -hmm. And it was four bucks, so I think that's that should do well. 
All right, you got these. All right, Lululemon leggings. Look at that. They still have the dang old sticker. No, that's not the sticker. That's not the sticker. Lululemon doesn't have stickers. <laughs> Somebody else put that on there. Yeah, it's a Target sticker. Huh. These are the groove pants uh, from Lululemon. These used to not do well, but ever since the 2000s are back, I Neon think... Tag. I think the groove pants are back. They're wide leg, oh, wide not. leg yoga pants are in right now. Okay, okay. And so I used to not pick these up, but I paid $7 and we're gonna try them out. Keep keep an eye on this space to see if they <laughs> sell. <laughs> okay, these were $3.99. These are Peruvian connection pants. Love it. Love this brand. Cool. Such Whoa. a quick flip. Got a little llama on the tag. Yep. These are cool. They're really cool pants. Mama yeah. gonna try them on first. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> they're really cool. They're um, they're just like little chino pants, but the cut of them is just they have these cuffs at the bottom. They're just really trendy. Mm -hmm. These aren't your average chino pants. If you could see them in real life, you would be like, oh, those are cool people pants. And they, mm -hmm. <laughs> Proven Connection does not sell for hundreds of dollars. Don't be fooled. These might go for thirty, thirty-five, but they will flip. Oh, you got three. I sure did. Oh, there was three of these. So okay. here's a story time. Um, you guys know I buy this brand, Aiden and Ananias. It's like my favorite brand to buy for kids. And we had a little lovey the other day and I was looking it up. I'm try to get this. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Um, I was looking it up. That's Aiden and Ananias right here. Let me move my finger. There you go. And this brand, the loveys are great. Get your head out of here. And anyway, I was looking up the lovey and then I kept asking Dan, how big is it? Because he was measuring it. And then... I saw these big blankets were going for like 50. Nice. So I found these for three bucks each and they all have a graphic awesome. on them. This is a turtle one. Yeah, this one's got little bees. Little bees and monkeys. So I think these are gonna do great. I'm gonna list them today. And uh, so if this is someone's like security blanket and they've had it their whole life and then they lose it. Oh man. Parents pay up for this stuff. They sure do. Oh, you came running to the car with this. You're like, I have to have this. <laughs> it's for me. Y'all, stop. <laughs> You're going to see this in a video. I had to have it. I cannot leave a clueless shirt behind. <laughs> it's my favorite movie of all of life. I'm going to crop it. Crop it. All right, I got this. This was a... Um, it's a jujitsu gi from a brand called Sanibel. Mm. But it's, the top still has the tag. Wow. So the top is new. The, I, I'm assuming the pants are new. They look a little... Like they have a little wash wear. Maybe? Am I crazy? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But I got a, it's a set, uh, the pants and the top in, it's a really small size. It's a size A0, which I think is the smallest size they make. So this should do decent. And it was, how much did I pay for this thing? Nine bucks. Should hopefully go for about 50 to 60. Cool. Okay. If you list it, I'm not listening. Hey. I'm not listening it. <laughs> I got a Halloween Michael Myers t-shirt for 95 cents. Cool. Somebody will want that. Yeah. Cult classic t-shirts sell for us. I mean, I wouldn't pay more than a dollar for these kind of things since there's so many reproductions. Yeah. But nice. they do move. This is a masuk dress. There you go. It's a shirt, but that's fine. It's a shirt. Oh. Yeah. I love selling this brand. It's so underrated. People have, it does have a following. Every time we get something, it does sell. Four bucks. Nice. Yeah. I was happy to find that. Okay. What is this? This is for me. Y'all, you got to see this shirt. Oh, man. Here you go. I don't pay $9 for anything, or $7 <laughs> for anything, really. But this shirt was, this is. This it's is, pretty good. You're going to see this in a video. Coming up. This is my new favorite shirt. I just know it. <laughs> it's free people. But look at this thing. Wow. Yes. You know me. I'll be in it. Not afraid of loud clothing. That's true. Alright, is this... What is this? Scandal. Made in Italy. So, since we've been selling all this art to wear, okay. minimalist stuff, I knew this felt expensive. When I felt it. There you go. It feels like the Eskandar and the Eileen Fisher it's stuff. really thin, but yeah. it's like quality. It yeah. feels like quality. So I looked it up. I looked up the brand and the store and it is quite good. I think we should get 50 or 60 easily for this piece. Great. Paid four bucks for it. And that's the thing about selling something enough. You, you start to learn what things feel like. And you can kind of pick things out without knowing the brand. You can nice. still know that it's good. Doesn't this feel like those Eskandar shirts we have where you're just like, it's 
yeah. weightless. Yeah. We have a couple of these, and it's just so nice, like Pima cotton or something. Nice. All right. Had to. Food Fighters shirt. Two ninety nine. We're huge Foo Fighters fans, and right now is a really tough time to be a Foo Fighters fan. So we we truth. pick up stuff at the thrift. So other people can have some shirts. Yep. This is cool. Uh, this is cool. This is a uh, nothing more. Stay at home tour twenty twenty shirt. If not now, some someday soon, somebody's gonna want that. It's got all the tour dates on the back. Stay at home. Stay at home. It's funny. <laughs> I mean, it is memorable, isn't it? Yep. Um, yeah, we also couldn't leave this behind. The Monty Python. <laughs> this but a scratch t-shirt. It's amazing. Stay on it. Yay, staying on the back. We get to soak it. Um, we. Did then, you hear that? We. Yay. Uh, I, I got a couple of plush at the St. V's. This one is a Kalu. That's cute. Right? Did you look it up? I did. And I think it's it definitely meets our threshold. I think these are like in the twenty to thirty five dollar range. It's got some schmutz. A little bit, but it's not terrible, right? We'll see. We'll see. Baby wipes, that's yeah. how I get it out. And then I got one more. This is mm, Glove Leah. I have no idea. But I also looked it up and... She's very cute as well. Came back okay in the same 20 to $35 range. Okay. There you go. She's um, so sweet. Oh, you got these. These little... Oh, I got this for my grandma's. Okay. Yeah, that exciting. Is that everything? That's everything. I mean, we do have some more stuff in the heater. Oh, wait, we right? have this stuff. Oh, we got that. Oh. These two junk bags. I got two junk bags, but they're not actually junk. Yep. This was two ninety nine, and it's the um, we call these things the Coda Pillar. The Coda Pillar. We sell the crap out of these. The sell through rate is incredible. If you yeah. see these at your thrift and you can get them cheap, yep. They will flip in a day. So we're gonna list this because our sales are pretty slow. These are what we use to spur sales in times like this. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why the sell through rate on these is crazy. Yeah. Uh, and then you guys <laughs> know. I love buying junk bags of bulk things. Yeah. This was $8.99, and these are Mitchum deodorants. There's like a mini in here. And they're selling for about $9 a piece. And okay. there's like, I paid $9 for the bag, and there's Sweet. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like 12 in here. Perfect. Love this kind of stuff. Yeah. All right. All right, what else is in the heater? You're going to sell people. Yeah, so we have um, a giant 40 inch Elmo from Gund. <laughs> if this man brings any more giant plush into this house the, the giant stuff is worth money it's, this <laughs> he, thing's he worth did like he was like it's 60 70 dollars it's like 60 to 80 bucks for this thing okay um there's you, you got a little nine inch stitch plush i did stitch is hot right now yep. you know lilo and stitch yep mm -hmm. um i got a little plush set from petite monde like a baby brand yeah i think i've heard of that yeah it's like a, a bear with like the matching circular it's not a rattle but it's like a little circle grab thing okay uh, you got no i got another plush it's an uncle brannigan's irish tweed patchwork teddy bear oh that's cool it still has the tags on it and i there were there were very good comps like hundred dollar comps perfect yeah um there was a Mason Scotch pink radar. Oh, that was me. Top. I don't know if it's a dress or a shirt. I think it's a dress. And it was very cheap. So mm -hmm. Mason Scotch is the same as Scotch and Soda. Okay. And um, there is a following. It does much better in the UK and in Europe than it does here. Yeah. But we do do global shipping, so I'm going to try it. We don't normally pick it up, but it was so cheap. It was $2 or something. Yeah. So I got it. I found a three-button, made-in-Italy John Varvatos two-piece suit. Bam. Bam. That was priced, so get this, it was hanging right next to a Michael Michael Kors two-piece suit. The Michael Michael Kors suit was priced at uh, $12.92, and the John Varvatos suit was priced at $6.99. And, and it's it, regular John Varvatos, it not was the, the USA? top-of-the-line designer label, John Varvatos, period. Yeah. Just act real cool at their store so they don't start marking it up. Like, yeah, I'll try mm -hmm. this. Yeah, 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 it was great. Um, there was a sleeveless pink with a big bow from Kate Spade. 
Oh yeah, that was a dollar. Yep. I don't know why it was still there. It was dollar day on blue tags and there was a Kate Spade silk blouse. And I was like... I'm just going to go ahead and take that. Okay. <laughs> uh, there was a black and white floral dress from Silence and Noise. That is an Urban Outfitters brand and the Silence and Noise tag was recent and mm -hmm. the dress is very 90s. Oh my gosh, if you wore it with some Doc Martens, you would be Ray Ann Graff from My So-Called Life. Like, <laughs> right now. <laughs> so that's what I've been looking for at the thrift store. Nice. Like things that I wore in middle school and high school. And the last thing in there is a there was a J. Crew uh, flannel. I don't know if it's a shirt or a shirt dress, but it had like the banded collar. Yep, and it it was very cute. Yeah. The reason I got that it was J. Crew with the there's this new J. Crew tag. It's kind of script, mm -hmm. but it's not cursive. And I I wish I had it in here. I'd show you. But when you look in the J. Crew tags, you can tell what season it's from. Yeah. And it said uh, fall 21. Oh, It was very brand new. new. It was, nice. It's like brand new. So I picked it up because yeah. it was cheap yeah. and it's like the most current style. So and J. Crew sells. Like it's it's got a following. People love J love their J. Crew. Yeah. So, so we went to. Save, oh, yeah. Save oh, yeah. the best for last. Oh, sorry. There's one more. There's one more. And this was four ninety nine. Look how cool that skirt is. It's draped. So all of these pin tucks are stitched in so it has this kind of like There's blousey the look the back. so you wouldn't think twice on this skirt right until you actually looked at the construction that's what happened to me i was like oh it's a pencil skirt then i looked at the construction then i looked at the tag oh yeah if you don't know this brand brunello cuccinelli yeah stop what you're doing and look at it look up everybody look up <laughs> even though, it's, your, even though it's not in focus, <laughs> dang it! Ah. But you can you can read it. <laughs> Brunello Cuccinelli, particularly in menswear, is uh, the highest. I mean, yeah. What? We we sell a lot of here's here's your top. There's like three B brands. One of them's Brioni, and you hear it on our channel all the time. Mm -hmm. One of them is. Brunello, Cuccinelli, and what was the other one? I was thinking of it in the car. There's three Bs that we sell a lot of uh, that are like top of line. Mm. But those two, Brunello, Cuccinelli, and Brioni yeah. are forevermore like, please. <laughs> yeah. Don't not pick those up. Yeah. The tag looks so unassuming. It, it really looks does. like a knockoff. It looks, I mean, really, this looks like something from the 80s where you'd be like, yeah, okay, no. But as soon as you see that it has an Italian size, and as soon as you see that it has some weird funky draping going on, mm -hmm. your brain needs to start being like ding, 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 ding. Maybe because I should look this up. I bet this skirt costs thousands of dollars. Easily, yeah. <sighs> Easily. And the, the thrift stores never price Bruno Cuccinelli up. Ever. I've never seen it priced even a little bit up. Normally yeah. it's like price to move, like two ninety nine. Yeah, because they this? don't know. Three, four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Mm. And this was the thrift store that we were, were very concerned about. The prices keep creeping up. Mm -hmm. And all of their jeans were $19.99. I'm like, like every jean. Yeah, they had a Hugo Boss sport coat for 40 bucks. Okay, so at that thrift store, this was still only $5. Yeah. So it's something to really, really be on the lookout. Oh, right, love. Right, but shh, don't tell anybody. Even though we're on YouTube telling <laughs> you. Right. So that's, that's what we hauled. That's what we got. And exciting news, next uh -oh. week I'm out of town, Yeah. but this weekend we are filming a series of videos for you from A to Z. How to start your eBay account, how to list your first item, how to inventory your item, how to ship your item when it sells, and how to keep track of everything. Yeah. So if you're on the fence about starting eBay, next week is your week. And if you're an experienced seller, you can just look in, inside and see how somebody else does it. Because it might teach you a thing or two, and maybe there's something you want to try different. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> just letting you know what's coming up. It's coming up. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us today. Uh, if you're interested, we do live listings every night at 7.30 p.m. Central during the week over on our other channel, which is linked down below. Uh, and we'll see you there. Bye. Bye.